St. John chapter 5, verse 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, and they that hear shall live. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for bear. The dead shall hear, they shall live. The dead shall hear and shall live. What does the dead represent? The Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, they don't know they're Hebrew Israelites. They're still walking around calling themselves black, African American, Latino, Tonto, colored, whatever byword or proverb that's been put upon them, that's you considering to be dead. That's you being dead. This is the dead shall hear. Shall hear what? The words of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot being spoken by the prophets. Because I, I got to read that again. St. John chapter 5 verse 25. Verily, verily, truly, truly. I say unto you, the hour is coming. And now is. It's talking about in these times, right? When the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High. Remember, pursuant to St. Um, Luke 10 and 16, and I'll get that. It says, the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of the Most High, which is Lord Yahweh Shai, who they're going to call Jesus. And they that hear shall live. Let's get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. St. Luke. You ever seen that movie, you know what I'm saying? Dr. Heckle and Mr. Hyde, Frankenstein. He was dead, right? Then all of a sudden, the doctor made him live. And what was the first thing when Frankenstein lifted up his arms? What did the doctor say? He's alive. He's alive. Well, it's the same thing that happened to us when we heard this word. We started to live again. Before we heard this word, we were dead as on no way. Dead to the fact of our nationality, dead to the fact of Yahweh by Shemiah Rashi, those proper names in the Hebrew tongue, who was dead to all that, dead to where we was really from, dead to the knowledge, man. Let's get this though, St. Luke 10, 16, this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who you eagerly call Jesus. He that heareth you, heareth me. Remember, we just read, we just read that in St. John 5, 25. Says they shall hear the Son of Man, the Son of the Most High, Lord Yahweh Shai, and they that hear shall live. Listen once again, St. Luke 10, 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. So starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men out there on the highways and byways preaching his Bible. When you hear them, you're really hearing Lord Yahweh Shai. Look, now you're starting to live now. Now you have to be quickened. The word quickened means to live. Taking heed to this word makes you live again. We're going to prove it. That's why we got to be thankful. We got to be thankful. He's alive. He's alive. We live again, right? And he that despises you despises me. And he that despises me despises of him that sent me. He that despises of you, despises of me. The people that hate us, that really hate our Lord and Savior, right? And the Lord came right back and said, and the people that despise me, they despise the one that sent me, the Heavenly Father. So we live through these words. We look, we have been quickened through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. The Lord said, look, look, you hear these words? You hear the men out there on the highways and byways preaching this word? Look, you're hearing me. Then you're starting to live again. You're starting to live again. Through these words, look, still in the book of St. John, St. John the sixth chapter, St. John chapter six, verse 63, it is the spirit that quickeneth. Look, the flesh profit of nothing. These words, that's what quickened us. That's what made us live again, right? Hearing these words, that's what made us live again. The dead shall live, the dead shall hear and shall live, right? 
It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit of nothing. The words, remember the words. The B-I-B-L-E, the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit. And they are life. So we live through these words, man. We live through these words. Look, the scriptures say the dead shall hear and shall live. Let's let's prove let's prove how you, how you be dead. Let's prove that right quick according to the Bible, right? This is Proverbs chapter twenty one. Cause you see, the majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans they're still dead to who the hell they are. Still, still walking around. You got Israelites calling themselves Egyptians, Kemet, you know. And everything else up under the sun, meaning they haven't been quickened yet. They haven't been made alive yet. They, they, they truly don't live. The walking dead. Yeah, they walk around, but up here, uh, up top, is dead as hell. All right? Let's get this, though. Proverbs 21, 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. What's the dead? These other nations, man. All right? So you, when you practicing the customs of the heathens, their traditions, you into their philosophies, their dogma, their doctrines, you, look, you're still dead. You're still dead. You haven't been quickened yet. You haven't been made alive yet to who the hell you are, man. That's why it says the dead shall hear, shall hear what? The voice of the Lord being spoken by the prophets, preaching his word. And shall live again. Well, look, we finally look now. You can truly say you're starting to live now through these words, right? Hearing the words of your how by Shimei Shah, that's what makes you live. Coming back to your nationality, then you can say you're alive. And the phone had to chime in. Well, look, we live through the Lord, man. Let's get some more precepts. It, it, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Let's get revel let's get revelation right quick. Let's get revelation. Because our people are truly dead. But the hopeful elect, they live again. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies, spiritually dead. Two thirds of our people, they're spiritually dead. You see them walking around every day. They're spiritually dead. What does it say again? And their dead bodies shall line the street of the great city. What's that great city? Babylon, America, the land of confusion, right? Right? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. But the point being, our people are dead spiritually, not knowing who they are. They haven't been quickened yet. But the hopeful elect, they have been quickened by this word. They heard the voice of Yahweh by Shimei Shai being spoken by the prophets. The Lord said, look, I look, let's get another precept. Let's get another precept of the Lord speaking through men. You know, this is Hebrews. Quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Hebrews chapter one, verse one. Yahweh, who has some three times in our diverse manners, Spake in times past until the fathers by the prophets, man. So how did the Lord speak through the prophets? How can a man or a woman get quickened, be made alive through hearing the words of the prophets, man? Which is ultimately the Lord speaking through them, right? Uh, look, another precept. Let's get another precept. Get another precept through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemuel. Once again, the Lord speaks through his men. Lord, we read Luke 10 and 16. Lord Yahweh Shai is written in red. He said, He that heareth you, heareth me. Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Now, how does the Lord speak once again through the prophets? How can you get quickened by hearing the words that the prophets are speaking, the words of the Bible, all right? But until that happens, you're still dead. You're still considered dead, man, all right? Let's go right back to St. John. Let's go right back to St. John. And I'm just flowing in the spirit right about now. 
Once again, Lord willing, the elect is edified. Look, we live now. We, look, we have we have been quickened through the spirit of you have by Shemel Shai. Look, and it's a beautiful thing. You know? It's a beautiful thing. Matter of fact, let's go to um let's see, first John. Let's go to first John. This is so important, man. First John chapter four. Verse 9, and it reads, And this was manifested, the love of Yahweh toward us, because that Yahweh sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him, man. So we live through these words, because remember the word was made flesh, right? The word was made flesh, right? I got, I got to read that again. First John chapter 4, verse 9. And this was manifest, made known, the love of Yahweh toward us, because that Yahweh sent his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh Shai, into the world, that we, the Israelites, might live through him, man. So without Lord Yahweh Shai, you don't live, all right? We live through him, we live through these words, we have made quickened through Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, man, the Heavenly Father sent His only begotten Son, Lord Yahweh Shai, that we might live again, man. Says the, says the dead shall hear, and they shall live, man. So now we're living again. We finally start to live once again. Whatever age you was when you first heard this word, that's when you start to live again, man. But before then, you was dead. You was dead, man. And the word, once again, that's what quickened us. This is Ephesians chapter 2. Let's see. Verse 1. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And you, you have he quickened, have made alive, right? Who were dead in trespasses and sin. Who was dead, man. Swimming in iniquity, man. Until we heard this word, we have been quickened made alive once again and look and you and look this is for the elect of the nation of israel they have been quickened we're part of that hopeful number lord willing we of that number man and you who he have quickened right remember i have chosen you you have not chosen me whoever the lord don't want to get this word whoever you have but she may don't want to quicken and make alive look look they're gonna remain in the congregation of the dead you know they're going to remain in the congregation of the dead, right? And and you have to be quickened. Not every Israelite. That's why, that's why the scripture says, It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, right? But unto them, it, it is not given. And then the scriptures also come right back and say, I think it's Romans 11 and 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, all right? And the rest was blinded. The majority of the Israelites are still blinded to the fact of who they are, to the knowledge, man. To the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So we most definitely got to, got to thank the Lord. Every time you wake up to this knowledge, you can receive this knowledge, you can understand this knowledge, and then on top of that, you can go out and teach this knowledge. You know how much of a blessing that is? That's, that's showing up a blessing. So remember, our nationality was taken away from us. Remember, we were dead for a long time. I, I want to get that. I want to get that. This is Jeremiah. Quick little lesson through the spirit you have by Chanel Shai, Jeremiah chapter 17. You know, I know I was just thinking about how dead I was before I was quickened through the spirit you have by Chanel Shai. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. No longer being a Hebrew Israelite, no longer practicing our high holy days, no longer worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's you discontinuing from your heritage. That's you, aka, being what? Dead. Dead. It says, um, that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger. Which shall burn forever. And you see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is slowly but surely lifting these curses off us. Because now we remember our heritage now. 
We remember our nationality. We remember the names of Yahweh by Shinel Shai. So look, man. This look, look, we're in a wonderful um, spot right about now. We're in a wonderful place right about now. And Lord willing, we remain. Our Baratas are, we remain. We have been quickened. And then one thing about Yahweh by Shinel Shai, they can quicken you. And look, they can put you right back to sleep too. That's why we gotta fear at all times. Look, you how about you not trying to put your ass right back to sleep, man? And, and you'll end up remaining, you'll end up back uh, in the congregation of the dead, man. Like it ain't nothing. Colossians chapter one. So, so, so be thankful. We live. We live again, man. Colossians chapter one, verse 13. Matter of fact, let's start up. Colossians chapter one, verse 12. Giving thanks. Unto the Father, Yahweh, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who have delivered us from the power of darkness, right? Look, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, Yahweh Shai, man, right? You can't, look, look, we gotta give thanks to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. You know? Thank the Heavenly Father for sending His only begotten Son that we may live again. Look, 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 we, we got to do that. We got to do that, Israel. He delivered us from the power of darkness, man. You know? Look, look, and, and gave us this light, which is this word. Gave us the light, which is this word, man. So I wake up every day through the spirit of Yahweh Bashinel Shah being thankful. Every day I wake up thinking Yahweh Bashinel Shah. I'm able to do a lesson. I'm thanking the Lord. I'm thanking the Lord before I even do a lesson. And Lord willing, it'll be edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I thank the Lord, man, that He had quickened me. I appreciate it. You know? Let's get this going right back to Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy. Find it life. So if you're not following after your how by Shemiah Shai, you're following after death. If you're following the customs of the heathens, you follow. See these these heathens, they set up a death culture. These heathens don't promote life. But if you're following after your how by Shemiah Shai and their righteousness, you find life. That's you finding mercy, finding life, righteousness, and honor, man. All right. You don't want to remain in the congregation of the dead. You want to live again. Look, Israel, don't you want to live again? Don't you want to live again, Israel? What does scripture say? Um, o Israel, seek ye the Lord that ye may live. Because if you're not seeking your how, but you know, shot, you're dead, man. You're dead, Israel. Hey, hey, remember the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures? That's what's going to keep you stable. Not following the customs of the heathens, man. And remember what I read earlier in St. John 6, 63. It says, it's the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. This is a precept. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Lord Yahweh Shai is that spirit. All right? That's the spirit that quickened you, man. All right? When you heard these words, it was the Lord, man. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty goes back to freedom. You're free mentally, you're free spiritually. And so on come, it'll be freedom physically, man. But for right now, we're free from the bondage of lies. Well, look, we know who we are now, man. Okay? We was up under the bondage of lies at one time, not knowing what the hell was going on. But now, through the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we have been quickened. Men and women are living again. You know? Came back to the Lord. I want to read that again. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, man. So it's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful thing to know to know your nationality and have to be and have been quickened. 
I mean, Jake overlooked, you know what I'm saying, what's really going on. A, look, a miracle is being performed right about now. The Lord is performing a miracle. Us waking up from that dead state of how we was, man, practicing all the customs of the heathens, getting into all kind of madness, you know? All kind of madness, man. Then we, then we look, the Lord has transformed us. He has conformed us back to how we really, now this is how we really supposed to be acting. We're starting to really act how we supposed to have been acting the whole time. And, and, and it's a beautiful thing, man. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei was shy. You know? You find the Lord, you find life, meaning what? You get to live again. You start to live again. And shall obtain favor of the Lord. Knowing if word favor goes back to being blessed. Blessed, man. That's when you that's when you can count yourself truly blessed. When you find your howl by Shimmy Awa Shai for you Israelites. So look, this word is only for us, remember? This word is only for us, man. That's when you find life. It says, but he that sinneth against me transgressed the laws willfully. And that's what you do when you remain in the congregation of the dead. You're constantly going off. Constantly transgressing the words of Yahweh, but Shimei Awa When you remain in the congregation of the dead. Look how two thirds are acting right about now. What did the Lord say? But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. So if you haven't been quickened through the spirit of your high but Shemel Shine, through these words, by way of the prophets speaking these words, you love death, man. And death is gonna come to you sooner or later. Sooner or later. So I just want to do this lesson through the spirit of your high but Shemel Shine, just pretty much just showing my appreciation. You know, to you how Bashim Yahweh Shai, through the prophets, for quickening us, man. Once again, Israel, we live again. Said, we're alive. We're alive. Just like the dude told Frankenstein when he came alive, you know. So Lord willing, the elect is edified, man. We live again. The dead shall hear and shall live. Shalom.